Hi everybody, thanks very much for joining me today. I appreciate it a lot. So today I'm gonna to share a knife with you all. It's from Work Tough Gear, designed by Alex over at Aurora Borealis Knives. It's the Lynx. I'm really excited to show it to you. It's my second Aurora Borealis knife design. I think it pairs very nicely with my first one, the Kodiak, my big chopper. Let's take a look at the Lynx together. Here's the Lynx from Work Tough Gear designed by Aurora Borealis Knives. So as you can see, it's a smaller fixed blade, really excellent Kydex sheath with this clip. Now this clip, they call it the Ulti Clip, rides deep in your pocket. You could actually EDC this in an urban environment without causing too much alarm from people. Only this small bit of the handle would show. You could clip this onto a pack. I prefer to carry it neck carry, a knife this size as a secondary blade, or even a primary blade. Some days, those of you who know me, know I've been carrying this knife for years. It's about the same size. So I really do like a knife this size. Let's take a look at it. I will put all the specs on the screen as I'm talking about it. I wear a size 10 glove, fits my hand nicely. It's all you need for the type of work that you would expect out of a knife this size. Speaking of gloves, I'll do another video on these gloves from the Adirondack American. They're amazing gloves. So Oz 8 steel. A lot of people may think that's a old school steel, but really it's tough. It has pretty good toughness and good edge retention. It's also stain resistant, so I will use this as part of my camp kitchen kit as well. So stain resistance is something I really like. It has a beautiful convex edge, as you can see. Saber grind with a convex edge. Now, honestly, this knife was hair popping sharp when I got it. I'm not sure if the camera is showing it, but there is a polish to that edge. Kudos to Work Tough Gear on that edge. G10 handles have a bit of texture to them, so they're not slippery. It's a wet day, so that extra grip is nice to have. Sturdy little spine, but very slicey as well. Like in this knife. Let's put it to work. So a small knife like this, I would use for a light camp task, like possibly making a baton. So let's make a baton for the camp. So we'll just baton this handle down to make a smaller diameter handle to hold on to. You can work this in different grips. As you can see, it's working wood just fine. So there you have. Nice little baton, just a couple minutes. Good little knife for camp tacks. So I took my firebox stove out today. I'm gonna break down a few pieces of wood to burn in that today. I mean, this is a sturdy enough knife for light batoning, absolutely. I know Alex designed it for batoning. So 
So let's try something a little more challenging, something a little bit bigger. Something we can break down for feather sticks. That wasn't a problem at all. Of course, the knife's ability to baton is, you know, indicated by the thickness of the spine. This has a nice thick spine, so it's very sturdy. You can do these medium tasks without worries. So let's see how the lynx feathers. That saber with the convex cuts really nice. I mean, it's comfortable to hold, especially with gloves. Yeah, I think it's going to do the job. For sure it's going to do the job. Make the bigger curls that we need to keep the feather stick going. And those super fine ones as well that we use to ignite the feather stick. You can do those as well. So I'm not going to make you watch the entire process, but I'll make a few of these feather sticks using the links. And we'll try and light it up. So I'm going to attempt to light the feather stick. It's really wet out. So it's going to take a lot a bit of doing. There we go. There's one. Get that in the firebox. Made a few more. That should establish a fire. And we'll get those splits that I batoned down with the links in there. We'll get a fire going. Now for that all important pepperoni test. For those days when you want to spice up your ramen. Nice thin slices of carrot. Does a great job kitchen prep as well. Okay, let's get that ramen going. Nice. Well, this work tough gear Lynx designed by Aurora Borealis Knives did everything I needed it to do today. So it's obviously quite wet today, it's snowing heavily. All the wood was wet, so I had a baton down to dry wood. This was able to do that. I was able to build a tool so I could do that batoning. I made some feather sticks. They weren't the greatest, and I imagine they were quite damp as well. But the 90 degree spine on the Lynx was able to get that ferro rod to spark well enough to light those feather sticks. Pretty impressed with that. Now normally I wouldn't take just a knife like this out to the woods with me. I'd pair it up with an ax. Uh, a saw like I did bring today, or one of these. This is my chopper designed by Aurora Borealis Knives as well. The Kodiak. I have a video on the Kodiak. You can check that out. I'll link it down below and at the end of the video, either here, here, or here. You can check that out. So I also will leave a link to Work Tough Gear where you can check out the links. I'll also put a link to Alex's YouTube channel, Aurora Borealis Knives. Any questions about this, you can ask him directly. He's the man who designed it. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. It's much appreciated. Take care. Bye for now.